So what I'm about to say is perhaps going to challenge most research, worldview, mindset and belief that exists around this word called confidence. Confidence for women. But I'm going to say it anyway. I think confidence is a really bad thing. Yes, it is if we continue to represent it the way we do. And here's my attempt to make you see what I can see. I want to tell you about this girl called Anna, who I met at a hair salon. Anna is only 15 years old, and there was this one day when both of us were sitting down and getting our hair done. And you know when you go to a hair salon, you're often given these magazines to flip. I watched Anna flip through this magazine, and I saw that on the cover of the magazine was a celebrity who was looking beautiful, needless to say, and had this big word called confidence written on it. I was intrigued. And something in me got a little bit curious to want to ask Anna, what do you think confidence is? So I did. I asked her, what do you think confidence is? And she gave a very casual reply, which was confidence is about looking beautiful and gorgeous. And I thought to myself, oh my God, we are making Anna believe that confidence is about looking beautiful and gorgeous. But this is not going to stop here because a few years down the line, Anna will see a woman who has three kids and has brilliant abs and she's going to start believing confidence is about beautiful and gorgeous which is what she had formed her worldview on before and now it is also about having abs whilst having three kids. It doesn't stop there. Then she's going to see something which tells her that you can be very confident in the kitchen and be an amazing homemaker. So she's going to add another layer and say confidence is about being beautiful, gorgeous, having abs with three kids and being an amazing homemaker who can put together gourmet meals. Well, sadly, it doesn't even stop there. Then she sees something which shows her this confident woman going to work looking brilliant, who's achieving great things at work. So she now adds another layer which tells her confidence is about being beautiful, gorgeous, having abs whilst having three kids, cooking gourmet meals and being an amazing achiever at work. And this is when we have put Anna into the dark hole of confidence. We have told her that she's allowed to believe this, that I can look like Angelina Jolie, I can parent like Donna Reed, I can cook like Martha Stewart and I can actually work like Sheryl Sandberg. Well, we all know the reality is far and distant. So when Anna gets to the reality and goes to work and has kids, she tries to be all of those things. And do you think she can achieve all those things? Absolutely not, because it is impossible. So she fails. And when she fails, she quits. But sadly, she holds herself responsible for it and thinks, I couldn't do this. This is all my fault. And here's one more capable Anna who's quit the workforce. And then comes this amazing topic that we love talking about, the confidence gap at workforce, the ambition gap at workforce. We have these amazing gender diversity programs that lead to absolutely nothing. That is because it is just too late. We have made Anna believe those things from the time that she was a teenager. And now we are telling her, here's a benefits program, here's a gender diversity program that will help you excel in your career. Anna doesn't believe in all those things. So what are we going to do? I think the responsibility is in our hands as parents of little girls and members of society to tell every girl that if confidence is your ability to turn your thoughts into action, there is one more hidden layer to be able to judge which those thoughts are because Donna Reed, Angelina Jolie, Martha Stewart, Cheryl Sandberg are all known for one thing. None of them is all of them.